This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a curved multi-tube brush with custom IMM parts? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere here loaded in. Now with this polysphere, I have deleted the subdivisions. So if I navigate to the geometry panel over here and open this up, you can see that this mesh has no subdivisions on it. So the question is asking about the Curve Multi-Tube Brush. So let's navigate over the brush palette here first and just open this up. And then I'm going to find the Curve Multi-Tube Brush, which is this brush here. And I'm just going to select that. Now the Curve Multi-Tube Brush will allow you to draw multiple curves on your mesh. So as an example, if I come to my mesh here and draw out a curve, you can see I'm getting this shape. Then I can draw out another one, draw out another one, draw out another one. And you'll notice with the Curve Multi-Tube Brush that after I draw another curve, the curve before it still remains active. So I can come back at any time and modify the original curves I drew out. So I can modify this one, modify this one, maybe draw another one over here, and I can still go back and update the curves that were there previously. So this is really handy for going through and drawing curves on your model, and then going back in and manipulating each of the individual curves. Now the question is asking if there is a way to create a custom curve multi-tube brush. So instead of drawing out this standard shape, if we could take a IMM part and then draw that across this curve. So the answer to this is yes. And in order to do this, you just need to copy a part from an existing IMM brush. So I'm gonna go to the brush palette up here and open this up again. And I'm just gonna go to the IMM curve brush and just select this. And I'm gonna hit Control Z on my keyboard here to get back to my original sphere without any of the curves on here. And you'll see after you load the IMM curve brush, you can see at the top here, these are all the parts that this curve brush consists of. So I'm just gonna select this shoulder strap here. And then as an example of what this brush does, if I just click on my model and drag out, it'll start dragging out this shoulder strap here. Now this is a tri-parts brush, so it consists of three different parts. So you have a start part, an end part, and then the middle part repeats. Now this brush here is still your standard IMM curve brush. So if I draw out another curve here, you can see the original one goes away. So I'm not getting that same functionality as I was with that multi-curve. So how can I take this part and apply it in that multi-curve fashion? So to do this, we just need to copy this part. So with the shoulder strap here selected, I can now go to the brush palette up here and open this up. I can go to the create menu here, and I can just do copy one mesh. So this is just gonna take that shoulder strap part that I have selected, and it's just gonna copy it to memory. So clicking this button here, I've now copied that IMM part on that curve brush to memory. So now I can go back to my curve multi-tube brush. So I can hit Control Z to get back to my original sphere, and I can draw this out again. So you can see this is still handling the same way it was. But now I can go back to my brush palette up here, and now I can click Paste Replace. And what this is going to do, it's going to take that curve that I copied and it's going to paste it into this brush. So if I click this here, you'll see the IMM preview bar will open up and you can see now I have the shoulder strap up here. So I still have the curve multi-tube brush selected, but now I've just added an IMM part to it. So now if I undo, get back to my original sphere and I draw this out again, you'll see I'm getting that curve strap. Now if I draw it out again, I'm getting the curve strap again, and you'll notice it didn't replace the original. So I'm getting the multi-tube effect now, but I'm using the curve strap. So now I can use this with that multi-tube brush, and I can now draw out multiple IMM brushes all over the place, and then go back in and manipulate and modify all of them. So the process again was just to first find an IMM brush that contains a part that you wanna lose on the curve. So I'm gonna select the IMM model kit here. I'm just gonna select one of these here quick. So maybe this circular 14. And go to the brush palette and copy this. So you can copy just one of them or you can copy all of them if you like. I'm just gonna copy one. And then I'm gonna go back to my brush palette here. I'm gonna select that curve multi-tube brush. I'm gonna go to the brush palette again and now I'm going to do a paste. So you can do a paste to replace, which will replace the one that's already there. You can do a paste to pen. So I'm going to do paste to pen this time. And now you'll see I have two parts for this brush. So I have the circular shape and the shoulder strap. So now I can select the circular shape. I can undo back to my original sphere here. And I can draw it out. And you see I'm going to get that shape repeated. I can draw out another one and another one. 
and then I go in and modify all these curves as I like. And then after you have this done, you can just save this brush out as a new brush by going to the brush palette here and just going to save as, and that will now store a new curve multitude brush that has these IMM parts embedded into it. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.